Um, I think it was more so just when I was a kid. Uh, you know, uh, my grandmother Ashley was the one that kind of got me involved more so in the game. Um, I first started playing baseball when I was younger, um, and then I kind of hit a growth spurt. So, kind of just more so transitioning into the game of basketball and just kind of you know learning and things like that. But um, as far as falling in love with, I probably say it was when I was probably like around eight or nine as a kid. Uh, you know, and just because uh, my grandmother. Um, played a big part of it, and uh, you know she's still a big part of you know my full existence to this day. You know, so it was definitely her doing uh, that kind of got me on the pace of playing basketball on the track of you know the sport. Oh no, it was definitely just you know playing the game, playing the sport, being around it, just learning about it, just you know trying to become a better player. Um, you know, I never really thought I would be where I am today. Um, you know, and that just came with blessings and just, you know, hard work and competing and just, you know, trying to always make myself better, you know. So I definitely think, um, you know, the characteristics and traits for me to, you know, be able to make myself into what I am today was there. But, uh, you know, far sights of, you know, being in the NBA, no, I never thought I'd be here. It was kind of like a mistake, really. Uh, you know, um, I signed my letter intent to play Virginia Tech. Um, and, you know, my senior year of uh, high school, um, coaching up in fire for Virginia Tech. And, you know, I kind of basically just went in and just had a man-to-man -man talk with the program and the, the new head coach. And uh, they kind of respect my wishes of coming in and just being straightforward with them because, you know, I basically told them, like, if you have me come here, I'm probably going to transfer after my freshman year because I don't. I don't know you as a coaching staff. I don't know what's your plans for me as a head coach, you know, and that's just being straightforward with them. And, uh, you know, basically had the opportunity to go in uh, and contribute to the team as a freshman, you know, and help and be a part of a program, you know, not necessarily, not necessarily going in and just starting off the rip, but just being a part of a program that I know um, was, you know, the right coaching staff and the right pace and the right fit for me you know you still gotta look at those things I think that's always something you have to look at as a basketball uh, player you know the fit of where you're gonna be playing um, your career at. and I definitely think Louisville was a good fit for me because it was a fast-paced game pressing up and down and uh, you know high volume type game something that I definitely felt like I could have exceeded in and uh, I definitely think I did a great choice by picking there. That's when I was drafted, it was huge. And I was at home uh, in the state of North Carolina with my family and my friends, and we all watched it. Um, it was definitely kind of one of those emotional type roller coasters because uh, when you're, you know, in that position where you kind of, you know, hear certain stuff and names buzzing, and then the draft numbers start to get calling, uh, it starts to get, you know, more and more emotional. You start to get more and more worried. And uh, for me, it was an emotional time period, you know, because I definitely thought I was going to be one of those guys that was taking in that that first round, you know. But when you start to you know, seeing it come later and later in the rounds, you know, and then you're in the second round, you know, I'm not going to lie, I, I was emotionally hurt, you know, I really didn't know, you know, what to do, but that just fused me, you know, because like I said, I've been around this area and been around a lot of people that told me I couldn't be here, you know, but I'm here to this day, so, you know, it just goes to show you, it doesn't matter, you know, what nobody really says about you, you know, it's all about what you think about yourself, really. I think, it, I think as soon as you go into an NBA locker room, man, because you're in the locker room with guys who are, are looked at as superstars, icons, legends, you know, you're in the locker room with a lot of different of those people, and I've been in the locker room with, you know, all of them, you know, I, I could say, uh, and, you know, been around all of them, uh, and the thing about it is, you know, you definitely have to learn that quick because, you know, it's a lot different from that college locker room to where, you know, you're a junior in the team and you're that older guy and looked at as one of those regular guys on the team, but now you're coming to a locker room with guys who are in 35 years old, 32 years old, guys who have full-blown family, kids, and, you know, um, you know, life outside of basketball, you know, so it's definitely an a, a eye-opener and definitely something that you really have to, you know, adjust to and understand, and uh, I think uh, you really just have to understand that, you know, this is your job now. Uh, three things people don't know about me. Uh, 
I'm a big fan of animation art, as you can see. Um, I love to fish and um, into older school cars. My why, uh, you know, everything that has got me to this point is my why. You know, my family, uh, my loved ones, the different struggles they went through to be able to get me here, to be able to, you know, let me go on those AAU tournaments uh, when we didn't have as much, you know. Um, you know, just my whole, basically, background and my whole running of how it took me to get to where I am, you know, that's my why. I left it all there, man. Simple as that. You know, I didn't take nights off. I didn't take plays off. You know, I wasn't one of those ones that, you know, just uh, played the game uh, for the money or, you know, anything like that. You know, I was one of those ones that when I left up my sneakers and, you know, when the game took off that this guy was going to give everything he had to put the team in a position to win. So that